Hey everybody, hope you're having a wonderful day. Hope you continue to have a wonderful day. And many thanks for stopping by Dancing Crew Directors. My name's Dean. Okay, I just recently posted a video and it was to be, I put it at the end, to be continued, which is something, I don't know. Uh, if I'm gonna do a part of things, I will say that it's going to be part one of multiple videos. Uh, it's something that I don't wanna be doing a lot of. Part of the reason was is the initial news that we got on Phobos via x-rays was that he had bone cancer in his leg, which is unfortunately a death sentence for him or any animal that gets bone cancer. Uh, it's a death sentence for him. We could opt to amputate the leg and put him through chemo and we might extend his life for a year. They also said that there was the possibility that it was blasto, AK, or the medical term is blastomycosis, I believe is how it's pronounced, mycosis. Or, anyhow, I'll put the name of the full medical term in there. We had them take a urine sample, which is the best way for them to determine if the animal has it, and it came back positive. Uh, the levels were very low. Usually it doesn't show up in the bone unless it's already in the lungs bad and it transfers to bone. So there is a glimmer of hope that what showed up in the x-ray is actually blasto. So I'm trying to keep the... But he's looking a little better. He's still not 100%. Hi, Dimas. His tail is wagging. The swelling in his ankle has gone down some, but not as much as I would think with an anti-inflammatory pain medicine would. Which kind of leads me towards that maybe it is the blasto. Not going to fully say that that's what it is. We'll know more in a couple weeks after he's on the medicine for the blasto treatment. Uh... It can take up to six months to take care of blasto. What blasto is, is a fungal infection that gets into the lungs, usually. It's inhaled, uh, comes from decaying matter, such as hay, you know, leaves, grass clippings, so forth. Certain areas in the country are notorious for it. Others aren't so prominent for it. High moisture level years have a tendency to increase the likelihood of blasto coming up. Uh, storm damage releases the spores of blasto into the air and they can get inhaled. Humans can get blasto also. Uh, in fact, I know a couple of people that, uh, I know one for sure that had it many years ago when he was working construction and they were digging footings in, uh, they found a pocket of blasto and didn't know it. And all of a sudden he ended up with a really bad chest cold. And couldn't shake it, couldn't shake it, couldn't shake it. And they ran tests and found out that he had blasto and was able to treat and get it. Uh, with dogs, as a rule of thumb, by the time they start showing signs of blasto in their chest or in their lungs, uh, it's almost a death sentence. Uh, the treatment for it is a long, grueling treatment, and the majority of the animals, they recover from it, but there is long-term damage that has been done. Uh, just about every dog that I've known of or talked to people that dogs have had blasto, they usually end up losing an eye to have to be removed surgical, surgically, or they just go blind in an eye or both eyes. Uh, we're hoping that with the levels being as low as they are, we've caught it. He might have just been exposed to it, and he's got some antibodies built up, I guess. Uh, so, some positive news on it. Uh, like I said, in a couple weeks, we'll know more. He seems to be a lot better. I mean, he's a little more, a little more, uh... I don't want to say energetic, but a, a little more 
happier, it seems like. Uh, so, I will keep you guys up to date on it and let you know what ends up happening with Phobos. Uh, we're going to go through the treatment. I mean, we'll, we'll treat the blasto. Uh, unfortunately, if he has cancer, we'll kind of let it run its course and put him down when the time comes. Uh, so, because if you guys have been following me for since I started recording uh, the adventures around here, you know, Helm and Dimos have lived out in this area their whole life. For a short period of time, they was over here in the Buck Bungalow. You know, uh, when they were all pups, we housed them in here after the weather got warm enough to where we didn't have to worry about them possibly freezing overnight. So they were housed in here. They did good. Uh, best of my knowledge, I mean, Nala and Mona are litter mates of those two. So uh, everything's been going good. Last night, I, you know, we got the young birds, young chick egg layers that, you know, we picked up a couple weeks, three weeks, four weeks ago or so. I set up this. It was part of an old chicken run that I had when we first got chickens, and we opened it up to them today. Christy's got some video of them, and they are exploring. Just I would have thought there would have been more out here. Got a pair of Californias, and it looks like a pair of comets. I know at least one comet for sure, the marbled red and white there. I'm pretty sure that that one that just came out is a comet also. Well, that's... Come on, Aries. Come on, Athena. Colin. Oh, you heard. Aries, come here, my boy. Come on, buddy. You do. It's very, very slight. Go on in there, buddy. Check it out. I guess he's been waiting all day to see what we've got going on in here. So, and now, now that he gets the chance to, it kept his attention for oh, I don't know, maybe three one thousandths of a second. So, there again, as Christy just pointed out, maybe he's guarding him. He's got his back turned to him. These guys are growing pretty good. The bigger birds we're going to uh, introduce to the other ones. Uh, I'm thinking that I'm going to set up a barrier area to uh, kind of ease them in. Let them, let both groups get kind of used to each other, and I'm hope that and the older birds don't beat up the younger birds, and we'll let these guys start kind of socializing with them too. Uh, so, guys, other than that, uh, like I said, super good. Well, it, it's it's a super great spark of hope with Phobos. I mean, he wasn't really doing much of that since Sunday. I mean, he did kind of jump up, but, I mean, it was half-heartedly. So.
and he wasn't wagging his tail as much. So I don't want to let myself get too hopeful, but I, I, I'm, I'm hopeful. So guys, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. As always, guys, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Hope you continue to have a wonderful day. Many thanks for stopping by Dancing Critter Acres. You guys take care of yourselves. Best wishes to each and every one of you. Look forward to catching you guys in the next video. This is Dean from Dancing Critter Acres signing off. Bye, everybody.